Hey YouTube, Asia here. I wanted to make a video for you guys because everyone keeps asking me, you know, well what shampoo do you use? What conditioner do you use? What styling aids do you use? How did you do that? How did you do this? So I figured I'd make a video to show you guys the things that I use for my hair. But hopefully <laughs> it'll give you some insight on what I do with my hair. So first up, I'm going to talk about shampoos and conditioners. Last year around, I think it was last summer when I went natural, I went to the store because you know reading the natural hair blogs they rave about this uh, shampoo so I went and got it, I got it from Rite Aid and I bought the, uh, the conditioner that goes with it but it's the uh, Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo by Organics and it's sulfate free as well as paraben free I've been using this in conjunction with the conditioner that goes with it I've ran out of the conditioner but I was using this and I have been using this for like a year now to wash my hair let me just say while I absolutely love the way it smells it smells like you know that coconut grease from back in the day oh God. I love the way it smells but it leaves my hair feeling stripped and I don't even put a lot in my hair and, and, and wash and rewash. I just put some in to break down the product build up and then put it again to clarify. So I only put it in my hair like twice and I feel my hair feels stripped afterwards. So I'm trying to wean myself off of this. I want to keep using it until it's run out and I don't think I'm going to buy it again. Because I just don't like that stripped hair feeling. But besides that, it's really great as well as the conditioner. But um, I ran out of that conditioner, the organics conditioner. So then I ran to Whole Foods and I went crazy. I spent like $75 worth on hair products alone. Like I didn't even buy food. I bought hair products. And one of the things I bought, not this one right here because they don't sell it in this size but I bought this Giovanni 50-50 uh, balanced hydrating calming conditioner now of course I didn't get it in this size this I ordered online a few weeks back this is a 33.5 ounce bottle but it's the same exact conditioner and let me tell you as soon as I put this stuff on my hair from it being stripped from this feeling all harsh as soon as I put this in my hair it felt so soft and luscious it's crazy so then I went and I bought this huge bottle because I need this in my life it is so it's like fabric softener for your hair like it softens it it conditions it it feels great so I, I, I may not recommend the, uh, the shampoo the organic shampoo but this Giovanni conditioner right here child love it I also when I spent that $75 at Whole Foods I picked up the kinky curly not today I bought this to um, because I heard a lot of reviews about the slip that it gives when you detangle your hair so I bought it initially I liked the way it smelled I don't know if it's just old now or it's been in the sun or what I don't know but it's a little funky to me now I don't like the way it smells anymore but um it does give slip I must say when I first used it to detangle my hair I was like wow this really works but because it costs so much and you don't get very much I don't really use it I use my Giovanni instead to detangle because Giovanni's cheaper and I got more of that and this just is like I, I don't want to use it it costs too much money but it does work and when I bought that I bought of course I had to get the kinky curly curling custard and this absolutely freezes your curls in place if you want to do a wash and go and you want your hair to stay in that same curl pattern it was in when your hair was soaking wet this is what you use this curling custard and then the next day you just spray your hair with some water refresh it you're ready to go you don't need to add any more product 
but it's very gooey like I don't even want to touch my hair after using this because it's so sticky and gooey and gross feeling but it does hold the curls so if you don't want that gooey feeling old trusty eco style gel everybody has to have this um I love it I love the way it smells um it doesn't flake my hair I don't use this for wash and goes because I don't do wash and goes but I have used it you know when I would twist my hair up for like a two strand twist and when I put like my weaves in my two strand twist weaves or whatever or if I need like if I had a sewing weave and I needed the my curl to match the curl of the weave I would use this so Eco Style Gel. You guys know that already though. After I wash my hair, if I deep condition, I have this arsenal of oils that I use in conjunction with mayonnaise, Hellman's mayonnaise. I use Hellman's mayonnaise in my deep conditioners. Don't laugh y'all. It works. It turned my bone straight, heat damaged hair into curly hair. Like it's not perfect. It's not the exact same curl as my natural curls. You can tell it's different, but it's not bone straight anymore. And I swear it was the mayonnaise. So don't sleep on mayonnaise. But anyway, when I do my deep conditionings, I use this. I spray this in the mixture. This is Wonder Grow Shea Butter, the original Silky Shine Hair and Body Light Oil Mist. And there's no mineral oil, as they tell you on the uh, bottle. But basically... I'll tell you, I'll read the ingredients to you. Soy, sawflower, castor, coconut, pistachio, macadamia, oils. And it includes shea butter, cyclomethicone, protein, horsetail, colt's foot, nettle, burdock, comfy, rosemary, cocoa butter, lecithin, and fragrance and vitamin E. But it's a bunch of great oils in this one little bottle. For $4.79 um, from the local beauty supply store. Not a Sally's. I don't know if Sally's carries this, but you know, the Korean beauty supply stores with the hair up on the wall behind the register. Yes, get this. Add it to your deep conditioning treatments. Also use castor oil for deep conditioning. Can you see that? Castor oil. I ordered this online from mountainroseherbs.com. Don't ask me how much it costs. I don't remember, but it couldn't have been much if I purchased it. But yes, and they say castor oil, if you put it to your edges, it helps to grow your edges back. Um, I don't know how true that is, because my edges seem a little thin as of late. I don't know, yeah, I don't know why, but I've been using this. I don't know how much it works, but it's a nice thick oil that you can put on your hair. I have my spray bottle here of oils. What oils do I have in here? Extra virgin olive oil. Primary ingredient. Castor oil. I sprayed some of this in here. With all the other oils. Um, grapeseed oil. Sweet almond oil. Sawflower oil. Oils, oils, oils. I don't know if coconut oil is in here. But it's a lot of oils. Speaking of coconut oil. I also got this from Whole Foods when I spent all that money. It's a jar of organic, unrefined, expeller pressed virgin coconut oil. Need I say any more? No. You guys know how great coconut oil is. Um, it helps to moisturize your hair and style it and it smells good. And it's just great. I love it. I have no complaints with the coconut oil. And a lot of people use the coconut oil as like a pre-poo before they shampoo their hair. I've done it. It makes it feel really, really soft. So yes, coconut oil. I also went to Sally's and I was looking for a bunch of things, but I picked up this uh, Wild Growth Light Oil Moisturizer. Supposedly, it helps promote hair growth. I don't know how true any of these products, you know, it's a lot of products that claim to help aid in hair growth. I don't know if any of these products actually aid in anything. 
but just using it makes you feel good so I don't know but I use this often every time I wash my hair after I wash it and condition it I put this all through my hair or whatever I don't know maybe it's a mental thing I'm telling myself it works when I really don't think it, pro it really does but whatever of course every natural has to have this shea butter you see the label shea butter I got this from mountainroseherbs.com and it is unrefined certified organ organic shea butter I haven't used this batch yet because I can't get over the smell I hate the way coconut uh, shea butter smells it's so funky it's uh it's so funky but I'm gonna use some of that melt it down and add some oil so I can have my you know little shea butter concoction I already have some shea butter concoction so I haven't had to use that batch yet but shea butter use that on your hair to moisturize and seal your ends is great when I went to Sally's I also got this is like probably my favorite product and I don't even know how it benefits my hair to be honest I, I you know but the smell alone and the fact that it keeps my hair moisturized when I say I put this on my hair and I don't need to add anything else to like moisturize it I am not lying this is the one and only argan oil by one and only um, I got it from Sally's and it smells heavenly like you've probably heard me talk about this argan oil before like get the argan oil get it get it get it if just to make your hair smell so great get it 